Hi, welcome back. In this clip, we are going to work on our state variables. Of course, we need these state variables to hold data that we want to pass to Paystack API for easy processing. Let's start by importing use state hook from React. What we need to do now, we have to import React use state and from React. All right. And inside our component, we have a const and array. We have an email followed by set email. Let me copy use state in here. This is going to be set to empty string. Let me copy this. That's the variable. And what we have in our input field here in our form. We have the amount. So let's have amount here. Amount and set amount. This is of course set to empty string. We have a first name. First name, then set first name. So this has capital letter. And the last one, we have a last name. But we have a last. Then in our form, we have our own change in handler and go by an anonymous function where we have the parameter, then set email, then we have a dot target dot value. And in our value attributes, we have email. All right. So in our next. Uh, each. So here we have a amount. Amount. Then value attributes. The amount. First name. Set first name. Then. Set our value attribute. And lastly, we have a set last name. Then in our value attribute, we have the last name. All right. So let's work on our button now. So to work on our button, what we need to do here is to have a, another div, have a input tag, then type attributes. It's going to be string. It's going to be string. Then we have a submit, submit, then and it's going to be W3, then W3 up right. then input. Let's say okay good as you can see. So I think we are done with our state variable now. So the next thing we need to do now in our next video is to work on our axios. So we are going to install axios and the then the configuration and the rest. So that's what we are going to do in our next video. If you find my content useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching us again.